Hello! My camera is being so annoying. If you are new here, I am obsessed with nails, hair, skin, makeup, all that stuff. I have made quite a few nail videos on my channel. It's one of my most popular videos on my channel. And all of those videos, I do dip nails. And if you don't know what dip nails are, you can watch one of my videos. It's just a way to do fake nails. I have tried acrylic and I have tried poly gel. I have not put those in videos. Acrylic takes a little bit more talent with getting like the bead of acrylic and just learning how to do that. And I was too impatient for it. And then I tried poly gel once. I want to try poly gel again. The, it was just really bad and I did film like half a video on it and I stopped and had to like take the nails off and I took the poly gel like fake nails off my nails have never been so thin it was kind of scary so I've just stuck to dip nails but I've been seeing uh, this is, it's not a new technique it's been around I feel like it's just a bit more popular now and people are doing it more at home because people are finding it to be so easy and that is gel extensions it's just taking me a fat minute to just do it I don't know why I don't want to spoil too much of the video but i will say this is by far the best way to do nails if you want like long acrylics for beginners and dip is pretty self-explanatory and it's easy but the only thing with dip nails it is way more time consuming this is the first time i've ever used gel extensions before i just i've watched a million videos so i just went for it i am just excited to show you this video because i am still in shock all right go enjoy the nail video i love you so much I i'm excited for this nail video because this is new and hopefully it goes good. I actually just removed some of my dip nail. If you guys are curious on how to remove your fake nails, then you guys can go watch that video. I'll link it in the description. I accidentally cut myself right here and it hurts really bad, but it's okay. I'm gonna go wash my hands just because I don't want any excess oil on them. The first thing I'm gonna do is I'm going to dehydrate the nail. take this primer and just put a little bit of that on my nail. I know a lot of people buff the nails before they go in with the nail prep and the nail dehydrator, but my nails are really thin right now. And I'm actually testing these out because I think these will be a little bit healthier for my nails than dip nails. If this works, this might be my new nail go-to. And then for videos, I will put a peel-off base coat so then I can just pop the nails off after the videos. Now I'm gonna be putting a very thin layer of the Extend Gel on my nail and curing it. This is like the main brand I feel like people are using for the gel extension. I wanted to get this gel because I feel like it's just the right thing to do, you know? And then I'm just gonna cure that for like 30 seconds. <laughs> I've only put the gel on this, but I'm realizing that it's kind of like sticky still. I still need to go through my gel extensions and pick out the right sizes for my nails. So I'm gonna pick out all the right sizes and set them out because it's like I can't like really fit it properly because it's kind of sticky. Okay, I picked all my nail tips and now I'm going to put a layer of the Extend Gel on all of my nails. We have the one layer of the Extend Gel on our nails. It's sticky and I have to be careful because I have like little hairs on this towel and I, I feel like little hairs are gonna get stuck in it, but it's gonna be okay. So these are the soft gel press on nails that I got. I noticed something cool about the ones that I got. So usually what you would do right now is you would take your drill and you would file right here to roughen the fake nail up. So when you adhere it to your nail, it sticks on way better. These are weirdly like already like that. Like they came like this. I am gonna go in with a fine nail bit and just go along it a, a little bit. I feel like I should still go in with the drill. And you want to file it to where it's going to be on your nail. That is like perfect. I'm going to be saying all the things I'm noticing that I'm doing wrong because I'm definitely going to do some things wrong because this is the first time I'm doing it. I definitely shouldn't have put the Extend Gel on my fingers yet and I should have filed all these first and I should have gone one nail at a time because I keep getting like little hairs in them and I have to be like super careful when drilling these because the powder is like getting in my nail. Next time I definitely will make sure that I have all of this done before I put the layer of Extend Gel on my nails.
to apply these to your nails, you take the Extend Gel, you're going to apply it on here, stick it on your nail, and then you are going to cure it. I got this little Kiara Sky UV light, and it has this opening right here, and that is because a lot of people that I've seen have had a major issue because when you apply the gel and you put it on your finger, you have to keep pressing it and then cure it. And a lot of people have a problem because most UV lights don't have an opening like this. I made an effort to get this UV light because I feel like it's just gonna make everything so much easier. Hopefully it's a good UV light. I've seen people apply the Extend Gel many different ways. I've seen people just paint it straight on. I've seen people scrape it right here. I've seen people put it directly on their nail and then they just put it on. I'm just gonna show you how I think is the best way to go about it. This is difficult. I'm trying to press that. Okay, so this is quite difficult. Okay, I have it being pressed down and I'm going to put it under the light. Oh, I'm scared. It doesn't feel like it's like on there. I kind of want to redo it. It does not feel like it's on there yet. Oh, it's already cured. <laughs> it is already cured. Holy crap, this cure light is really good. Okay, obviously this is my first time trying it and I feel like that was not good but there are some air bubbles around the cuticle and there's extend gel coming out of the top right here. I'm gonna have to go in there and drill that off. I feel like while doing this, you're obviously going to learn how much gel to put on the nail and all that, but honestly, that was not hard. And this is not horrible for the first time, but I'm gonna try and stick all these on and hopefully I get better at it. Oh my gosh, I could literally put nail polish on this and like not even file it. This is so good. Why did it take me so long to try this? I think it's a good idea before you like go like this to turn on your LED light before so you can just like whoop like instantly go under Ooh, my nails are so thin right now this, this kind of burns, not gonna lie. Dude, this UV light is like way better than I expected. Also, that was literally a quarter of the time of dip nails. This might be my new go-to nails. So I'm going to take you through what I have been doing so far. I have the Extend Gel on my nail tip. Before I put it on, I'm going to turn the LED light on. I'm going to start by kind of shoving it in my cuticle, and then I'm going to slowly press down towards the tip of my nail, and you can see all those air bubbles disappearing, and then I'm going to put it under the light so then it cures. Honestly guys, I feel like this is by far the best thing for nail beginners if you guys want something that's gonna look like acrylics. This is insane. Like, I can't believe how easy this is. I thought this was gonna be so much more difficult. And it hardens like instantly. I need to look more into it to see if there's a way of avoiding getting so much gel in there. I feel like it's more just learning how much gel to put on the nail. I'm really happy I picked coffin nails. I do want to get some shorter almond shaped nails for more of like a natural look. I'm so excited to see how these keep up. Wow, I'm really excited. Okay, I'm gonna go finish putting all the nail tips on and then I will be back. <laughs> okay, it was going so well, but I feel like this is actually kind of helpful that this mistake happened. I'm trying to look at the bright side. This is how I remove my nails. I just posted a video on how I remove my fake nails. I have a little cotton pad with acetone on it and then I have these little nail clampers and I pretty much put the fake nail on like completely crooked and there was like a bunch of bubbles and stuff so I'm really curious to see how this soaks off because I mean that's kind of important and these are soft gel nails so these are supposed to like completely soak off and the extend gel says soak off so I'm gonna leave this on for like 10 minutes and do the rest um I will say the left is a teeny bit harder but if you're experienced with doing your nails it's not like that hard it's just hard to get them straight if that makes sense so but I'm gonna film me doing them because I get a bunch of comments saying that they don't believe me that I do my left hand <laughs> and I don't know why Okay, so that one turned out really good. If you're planning on trying these, you need to get one of these lights. I genuinely do not understand how people would do these on themselves with like just a normal LED light. This is like the best creation ever. I'm pretty sure Beatles has one for a little bit cheaper. All of these three fingers came out 
And then this one is just pointing off into the distance. Dang it, I don't want to take another one off. <sighs> I'm gonna have to take it off. Okay, I'm actually going to check in on this one. Like, what's happening? Okay, it's definitely doing something. Okay, it's dissolving. It definitely needs to sit on there a little bit longer. And so I fixed the nails that I messed up. This is absolutely insane to me because look at, like, they already have a good, like, structure. And they're already, like, filed. Like, I'm gonna go in and file them a little bit. You know how long it takes for a dip in acrylic to, like, get the perfect apex? So I'm gonna take my file and I'm gonna shorten them a little bit. I do kind of want to do some longer nails because... I don't know, I just feel like it. So I'm gonna file them. All right, so this is what we got going on. They are shaped. There is like a couple more steps that I could do. Like I could buff the shine away and I could go in on the cuticle. But I feel like if a lot of people are gonna be doing these and like beginners are gonna be doing these, most people aren't gonna have nail drills and they're just gonna buy the key stuff to do their nails. So I'm just gonna do this with kind of like the least amount of product and step so that it shows that more people can do it, if that makes sense. All right, so I think I'm gonna do this design. This is my favorite one. It's like an aura design. And here's like a couple more pictures. And I just really, really like them. I feel like it's really cool. So I'm gonna see if I can accomplish this. If I can't, I'm gonna be really, really sad. So, uh, wish me luck. Now we are going to get into the design. The first thing I'm doing is going in with like light peachy nude color. And I'm just putting two coats of that to make sure it's opaque and then curing it And then I actually had an old real technique sponge and I cut it up and what I'm doing is I'm painting like a gradient of colors to make the auras if that makes sense I didn't film a lot of this just because it was really repetitive You can see right here I'm just stamping on the color and then I cure it and then I just keep layering it until I get the desired Opaqueness of the little aura orb thing. So I keep doing that and then now I'm going to be going going in with my top coat and then I cure that and then I wipe it down with a little bit of rubbing alcohol on a cotton pad to get rid of that sticky coat I'm gonna be doing a different aura like color on every single one of the nails but it's pretty much the same exact thing pinky I kind of wanted to do the aura more on like the cuticle part so I took this liquid latex put it around my finger so what this does is when you are stamping on your design you don't want to get it on your skin so liquid latex is protecting your skin from it so then you can peel the liquid latex off and then you have nothing on your skin I used to just use Elmer's glue doing this a really long time ago but this stuff is great this is how my right hand turned out I liked this hand the best and then you can see both of my hands right here for a quick second but then I'm gonna go in with some cuticle care I'm gonna take my daily keratin treatment which just helps keeps my nails strong when they're growing out and massage that on all of my cuticles and then I'm gonna take my favorite cuticle oil and do the same exact thing just massage it in my cuticles I'm just gonna finish off with some lotion to keep my hands moisturized and that is how the nails turned out and then right here I'm showing you guys the shape the apex is so strong I love these so much these are by far the longest nails I have ever had. It's not even as bad as I thought. Like, I thought this was going to be more difficult, but I have kind of, like, worked my way up to this length. Like, this is insane. 
I can't believe how easy this was. And the main thing I was nervous about is them breaking off, but there you can see the shape and the form of them. Apex right here is literally so strong. The nails are so curved, so when you put the gel on, the gel is like this thick in the middle of the nail. And you just have to be careful. The one thing that I can see people running into, which I ran into, is pushing on the thing too hard so then the gel squirts out in the backs of your nails. And you saw in the video, I have a few like that. But I mean, this is the first time I've ever done it. But I'm so impressed. Like, honestly guys, this might be my new way of doing nails because, oh my, like this is, I, I didn't even have to like sit there and file my nails because they were such a perfect shape to begin with. I didn't even have to really go in and file the cuticles at all either. I wanted to see what they were like with kind of like the least amount of effort. I highly recommend if you want like acrylic nails, but you don't want to do it and you don't want to pay for it, this was so cheap. So cheap. I think the most expensive thing was the little Kiara Sky little UV lamp that I got, but that's because Kiara Sky is kind of more expensive. You're getting all this stuff for multiple sets of nails. It, it's gonna be way cheaper in the long run, if you guys know what I mean. I'd never want these to come off my hands, you know? Um, they're so gorgeous. They make me feel amazing. Um, but thank you so much for watching. If you guys want more nail videos, let a girl know. And honestly, I feel like this is a perfect time for me to have done this video because if you guys want to ask for this stuff for Christmas, put it on your Christmas list. These are so great. I love you guys so much and I will see you in the next one. Bye! I don't know if you like the way I put my words together, but I need you to stick with me just like some birds of feathers. Or like bricks and scales, hand to hand, dropping corn straight down the well. Wish me well, wish me well. Always talking about the fishing scales, things that's gon' throw my mind off focus. Probably what's gon' get my drug use more dosage. Like a damn baby girl, I didn't.